If you're having any trouble getting motivated for your Monday tomorrow, we're about to introduce you to someone who can help. He's a motivational speaker, but he's much more than that. As some kids in St. Louis found out, he sets a pretty good example. At Matthews Dickey Boys and Girls Club this week, Good morning, everybody. Kids got an education in determination. Like the hardest thing that I had to figure out was just to like accept myself. Kyle Maynard may look like he has a disability, but it's his ability that's brought him here today. There's unlimited like creative potential for human beings in this life. Born with a rare condition known as congenital amputation, Kyle's parents made a decision when he was just a baby. They said that like, you know, we're just going to treat Kyle the same as any other kid. He has no arms or legs, but since then, Kyle Maynard's motto has been no excuses. With a passion for sports, he pushed himself to play football in high school and to become one of the top wrestlers in the country. And for the first 35 matches that I wrestled in, I lost every single match. But by his senior year, he made it all the way to the Nationals and finished among the top 12 in his weight class. However, it's what he did in 2011 that not only defied the odds, it defied belief. He became the first quadruple amputee to climb Mount Kilimanjaro without the aid of prosthetics. In other words, he literally crawled up the mountain. Yeah! And I made a decision that like no matter how hard it got, no matter how tough it was, then I was going to keep going no matter what. He says now there were times he wanted to stop, but he couldn't because the climb was intended to raise awareness for wounded military veterans and a team of wounded warriors made the trek with him. Anything really is possible. These days he spends some of his time as a motivational speaker telling people to follow their dreams. What's the difference between somebody who goes out and, and does those things versus somebody who doesn't? And I think a, a big part of it is, you know, the people that, that don't make excuses about why they can't do it. And for the kids at Matthews Dickey, even if they don't remember him, Kyle Maynard hopes that at least some of them remember his message. Like, I don't know what things they're facing, but I hope in some way maybe you can go and get in their head and just go and let them know that, like, they can do it.